Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, we take a look at the latest leaks found within the newly released 3.8.1 PTU code. As always, a huge thank you to all my patrons. It is because of these guys that I get to make videos like this. So if you do enjoy my content and would like to help make it even better, follow the link to my Patreon page below. So 3.8.1 has hit the PTU. It's brought a few fixes, which we will take a look at in a separate video, but for now, I want to focus on the information found within the game code revealing some upcoming features. A big shout out as always to Star Citizen Leaks Discord which is where I keep up to date with all the leaks as they happen. I have dropped a link to their Discord in the description below. We will start off with the less juicy information and lead on to the more exciting stuff so do stay tuned. So firstly they appear to have added UI for electronic accesses theatres of war. It shows mission type description and it says Fight for dominance in an epic, asymmetrical battle across land, air and space. This is likely the options tab, like what we have for Star Marine and AC on the uh, electronic access home screen. So it looks as though they might be adding UI elements for the EA section, getting ready for the implementation of Theatres of War. Doesn't mean it's ready yet, but it does mean that it's getting close. For 3.8.1, Unlikely, more likely for 3.9, although Sean did say he wants to get it into the Eva Cottage's hands as soon as possible, so it could be shortly after 3.8.1. Now moving on to missions, there looks to be a new shareable assassination mission requiring a minimum of two players. Basically, you'll need to hit each target simultaneously, otherwise you could lose one of them as they will flee as soon as they hear that the other target was hit. Could be interesting trying to organise this and communicate between each other. But it is a Miles Eckhart mission. The blurb we have reads, A price has been set on the heads of target name 1 and target name 2. While having to hit two targets, isn't that weird? The client wants to send a specific message, so they need to hit targets at the exact same moment. The extra cost should make up for the hassle. We don't know how much it is yet. Uh, and unfortunately, since the pair aren't travelling together, it goes without saying that to pull this off, you're going to need some help. Make sure you bring people you trust. Now, some more text for it, which I assume is from Miles himself. He says, an interesting hit came across my desk. Contracts for two targets that need to be taken out at the same time. Guess the client is worried that if they aren't eliminated together, one of them will go dark and try to get some revenge. They go by target name one and target name two. Find yourself a team, divide and conquer. So as CIG have mentioned in the past, they are now building more missions that require sharing and teamwork. Nothing too over the top here, but it should be interesting trying to coordinate together. I do wonder that if you do kill one, the other will just run, even if your teammate is engaging him. It'll be interesting to see how that plays out. There's also what appears to be a new delivery mission in the works, but uh, there's not a lot of information for this other than locate the package and then four uh, coordinates for the locations. It could be that the package is missing and you need to have a look around for it, but we need more information before we really talk about that one. So there are plenty of leaks regarding the Cutlass Red. Nothing too pretty at the moment, as it all seems to be very much work in progress, but it is coming along. It is split into three rooms. You have the airlock, the med bay, and the flight deck. The devs also apparently have the option to spawn the Cutlass Red in 381. So if you are playing the PTU, do keep your eyes out on the chat as devs do tend to now just come in at random, spawn a ship and let players have a look around of it uh, before it actually goes to live. Now, finally, uh, it appears coming very soon, hopefully with 3.8.1, but that's not confirmed. It'll likely be this month with the release of the Cutlass Red as the Cutlass Red is the medical Cutlass variant. Uh, but we will be able to select the Cutlass Medbay bed as a roaming spawn point. So if you die, instead of awakening back at the last landing location, you'll reawake in the Cutlass Medbay, which you have chosen. So the code for all this is as followed. It says, clear an ICU or an intensive care unit preference from a device to reset your respawn location to your selected login bed. Setting a new preferred ICU will also clear your previous one. So firstly, it sounds like you select your login bed at the start for respawning, like what we have now in terms of location. Then it says, if your ICU preference is unavailable at the time of spawn, maybe if you reset your spawn to the Cutlass and it gets destroyed, or that player isn't online with his ship, 
you will then instead use your selected login bed, so whatever you previously set it as. This will also clear that ICU as your preference, so obviously it's not available, it's pointless having that as your choice. Set that device as your preferred ICU again to continue using it. Finally, it says set a preferred ICU to respawn there after you are severely injured. This persists until the preference is cleared from the device or a new preferred ICU is set. So, it sounds like when the Cutlass is released, the Cutlass Red, along with it will come a very early version of medical gameplay. Hopefully, the other ships with med bays will have the option for this as well. It could be done through a new service beacon, which is something CIG has said they kind of want to do before. So if you own a Cutlass Red or a ship with a med bay, I wonder if you could set that ship as, say, working uh, and allow anyone to set it as a spawn point and then charge them when they use it. Now, I'm not 100% certain on this. It also mentions in the code heal equals treat injuries. So it might not just function as a roaming spawn point. It could likely be used to treat wounds as well, which could mean that we will have some more gameplay, which isn't just when your limbs go red, you start bleeding out and you die. Now, I'm not sure how involved all this medical gameplay will be. I expect it'll be something quite simple. Like if you're, if you're laid on a bed, then maybe a medic will push a couple of buttons to heal you. Maybe might not even need another person to do so. It won't likely be hands-on, which is where they want to get to eventually for medical gameplay in the future. But I think for tier zero, it'll just be a very simple system which is just using the tech that they have now. On another note, I don't think it was intended for the Cutlass Red to even have a respawning option. Medical beds, if you don't know, are divided by tiers. The best tier allowing for respawns with the lowest tier, only capable of treating, say, minor injuries, and then in between. I think there's tier 0, 1, 2, and 3, or maybe 1, 2, 3. Tier 1 being the best, allowing you to respawn. The Cutlass Red was, I think, only intended to be a tier 2 or tier 3, you will be able to decide what kind of beds you have. Same with the Apollo and the Endeavour. But I think the Cutlass Red is seen more as just a, an ambulance, really. That could have changed. We'll have to see. Now, I expect this is just an early version to make the Red functional and introduce medical gameplay. But it is pretty important tech getting introduced to the game. Allowing players to respawn in beds of ships will be very useful, especially for bigger raids. The likelihood is... This tech was required for Theatres of War as the Ursa Rover is a roaming respawn location, which could explain why we're seeing it now. Anyway, that is it for the leaks. A big thank you again to Star Citizen Leaks Discord for gathering and providing the leaks. Links below as mentioned before. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more juicy Star Citizen Leaks and hit the like button if you're excited for medical gameplay. Do follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash supermacbrothersryan as we will be taking a look at 3.8.1 on Thursday and discussing medical gameplay and the leaks a lot further as well. My Twitter and Instagram links are in the description. And again, a massive thank you to all of my patrons. You guys rock. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.